My name is Hamid Al-Ammari. I'm a comedian, a producer, entrepreneur. I write stuff and then I tell stories and hopefully people can find them funny. <laughs> Hamid Al-Ammari, good morning. Good morning. So first of all, why did you bring us to this place? Because um, it's in Sugwagif. So Sugwagif, I, I love Sugwagif as a destination for anyone who's visiting Qatar. And it's the oldest market in Qatar, and the name comes from Sug Wagif, means standing market, and that's exactly how trade used to happen. And this shop here is one of the oldest coffee shops in, in Sug Wagif, and football fans come here a lot. Hattori comedian, that's very unusual. Like, yeah. how, how. I don't know, how do people respond to that? How did your parents respond to this when you first? Oh, they still don't know. Like, it's a, oh. it's a best kept secret. Thanks for telling them. No, they, 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 um, they don't get it, you know? My, I come from an academic family. My dad, the reason we traveled, so I, grew, I was born here and grew up in America and Ireland. And so it was very, very Irish. And then I moved here and it was like, I had to, people didn't understand what I was saying, so. Went from Gizabit and I over there, will you? To here, can you pass the salt, please? <laughs> I would like some of these things. You can't say things. Right, I, I want to keep talking to you, and as much as I love this place, do you want to go see some of Doha? Yeah, can let I me take, take it for a spin. You go on. Quickly. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> After you, madam. Thank you. What a gentleman. <laughs> My mama raised me good. Right, so we'll just have a little walk around sure. Sugwagif. Now, like, do you need to get anything from here? What do you usually get from the Sugwagif? I'm waiting for a genie. <laughs> I need to, be, I need to match all the, all the Qatari <laughs> stereotypes. Never work, be a billionaire. Where's my genie? I, I, th I thought you are a billionaire. <laughs> Unfortunately not, no. I only have one Rolls Royce, not seven. It's such a hard life. <laughs> so no lamp, let's get your bukhur. What else yeah, can you So get? this is why I come to Sugwagif. So all the smelly stuff, like bukhur, um, and like incense and all of that. Yeah, and then I'd get textiles, but it, what I love about it is you get to see all of these colors that come from, you know, everywhere. So walking around the Sug is always like an explosion of color. So we're just passing by, what is this bit? This is, see, this is how great healthcare is in Qatar that even falcons have their own hospital. Um, it's a fact. Look, it's Here's Sugwagif been, Falcon Hospital. He, this he's guy's going gone. to the emergency. No, he's got an appointment. He's an outpatient. Oh, that's yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> World Cup in a place the size of a city, you know. You can get from the north, the northernmost stadium, Al Al Bayt in Al Khor, uh, to Al Janoub in Al Wakra in like 45 minutes. One of my favorite kind of just as a as a like art piece yeah. is 974. Oh, 974 is brilliant. That's built for purpose and then it will be gone. He built a stadium out of shipping containers. <laughs> that's, I just think that's fascinating. Uh, 
but the, ma- the main one is Khalifa Saidin. I believe, mm. and I think the best way to have a full-on fan experience and mix with everyone is that public transport metro. Yeah, of course. And if you take the metro and the uh, buses, that's the best way to get you to the stadium. Now I've got for you, and you tell me what they mean. So okay. I've got inshallah. Inshallah has multiple meanings, mm-hmm. and it all depends on how you say it. Inshallah means, yeah, God willing. Mm-hmm. If God wills it, so it shall be. You say, inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. Like, halas, inshallah means, yeah, 50 50 well, chance that, that it's, not getting ha- it's not happening. Inshallah. Inshallah, if it like if if it's if it has an e before it, which means yes, like yes, inshallah, that means like like we're about to inshallah, e, you know, like it's never gonna happen, and it would take violence to solve this. <laughs> well, it, then it's like inshallah, like you're hopeful, inshallah. like like you said it now, inshallah, I, I like, yeah, I like inshallah, to think that. yeah, like it could actually mean what it means, inshallah, inshallah. Um, what other words you can teach our audience, or for or for the fans who come in here? Hella, hella is like hella, hella, ya hella, hella, hella. That's like Qataris. Hello. Hello. Qataris, non Qataris. When you hear it, it just means hello. Hella means welcome. Okay. Um, yalla means let's go. Yalla, yalla. Uh, yeah, yalla, yalla means let's go, let's go. What else? Or gum yalla is like let's go right now. Qatar, yeah. Arab speaker, so Qatar. Qatar, uh, even in Arabic, there's two ways. Okay, there's cool. Qatar and Qatar. Qatar is the classic Arabic. Qatar. Muntakhab Qatar. Qatar. Ahlan bikum fi Qatar. al jawiyya al Qatariya. Okay. You know what I mean? Qatar. What was the funniest pronunciation you've heard? Qatar. No, you're joking. I swear to God. Qatar. Americans? Cutter. Cutter? Cutter. Go get yourself cutter. Qatar. <laughs> He's going over to Qatar. What the hell? What do you do? What are you going over there for? Look at this stadium. This is Lucille Stadium. to people who criticize Qatar and saying it's not a footballing country and it's not ready to host a big event like the World Cup. Growing up, we played football barefoot and in the, in the, like that was what we did as kids. Football is the most watched sport, participated sport in, in the country. So I don't blame people for saying whatever they're saying um, because they don't know. You know, yeah. it's our responsibility as Qataris to showcase our culture, to bring people in, and that's exactly what we're doing. And we're doing it for the whole Arab world. It's not just for Qatar. Qatar is the host country, yes. But Qataris are a minority in Qatar. There's like 140, 160 different nationalities living here. They all call this place home. Um, yeah, so can we go to the Al Bayt Stadium? We're going to Al Bayt Stadium where it's all going to start. Yeah, because that's where Qatar is going to be, Ecuador. Yeah, other stereotypes. Um, I don't know, that we all have camels. Mm-hmm. I have never owned a camel. Mm-hmm. I've eaten a few, but I've never owned a camel, nor have I ever raced a camel. How does it make you feel as a Qatari? The moment when the moment of pride finally gets here. I don't think any other country has been exposed to the things that Qatar has been exposed to in the media. And it's fine. We're doing it anyway, it's happening. Like, people will come, they'll have a great experience. And it's the, it's the Arab world Cup. Qatar is the host nation, but there's so many different cultures here that are part of the fabric of our identity. Mm-hmm. 
there it is, you see it. Look at it. It's like a massive tent in the middle of nowhere. And then you get there and you're like, what? It's my favorite stadium. I think people will be in awe of this building. This is it's art, it's not just a building. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Woohoo! So this is it, El Bet Stadium. Did I change your mind? Becoming my favorite now. Thank Hamid. you so much. Thank you so Always much for doing this. Always. No